Welcome back to the second channel. You might have just ran into a situation where for some reason, every time you try to go and update your phone, you might be getting an issue where it says estimated time remaining or you can't even update your phone at all. So as you can see on mine, mine completely works. As you can see, I can click install now and update, but I don't want to because I want to retain my jailbreak. But I've had many, many cases where I'll get into a situation like this where it says estimated time remaining and it says update requested, but for some reason I'm not able to get through. But there are a few ways to relieve this and actually fix it overall, and it's really, really easy. The first thing to do is let's say you're in the settings app, you're right here, and it still says estimated time remaining and all that. The best thing you can do, and this might sound stupid and simple, but you can just hop out, go back into the settings app, go back in there. And about like 50% for me that usually fixes it. I know that sounds really stupid, but usually most of the time when I hop out and I just close out of it and go back into it, that usually fixes it, which is really weird. And I don't really understand why that happens. Now, if that specifically doesn't fix it, what you might have to do is clear your RAM, which isn't the easiest thing to do, but it's really not that hard. What you want to do is you want to go into settings. You want to scroll down into accessibility right there. You want to scroll down into, you want to go down to accessibility shortcut. And you want to make sure assistive touch is on. And once you have that, what you want to do is you want to press the volume up button, volume down button, hold the power button. And then once you see that, triple click the home button to get its act activator. And then press that and hold down the home button and it should reset. And if that reset it, you can go back into the settings app, go to general, go to software update. And that should have fixed it by then. And if you're still not there and you still can't fix it, you're just going to have to reboot your phone. And that's the third way to do it. So you just go ahead and reboot your phone as you usually do. Hold on power button and the volume button. Go ahead and reboot it, reset it, go back up, and then go and try to redo it. And usually that would have fixed it by then. And if that still doesn't fix it, you're going to have to plug into your phone into iTunes and then update that way. Sometimes you do run into issues that for some reason software updates just mess up the update process, which isn't the end all be all, but it is kind of an annoying process. So those are the four ways to do it. The ending thing is basically plug it into iTunes if it still doesn't fix it. But if it does fix it, then you're pretty much set. You don't have to worry about it anymore. So that's really pretty much it. Just a couple ways to do it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would be so much. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber we get really does count. It's gonna be so much if you guys get that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, and my main channel. All those things are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.